and welcome to Finextra. I'm Emily Haller and I'm here with Thomas Eve of Six Security Services and we're at Cyboss 2016 in Geneva. Thank you very much for joining me. Pleasure. How has blockchain evolved since Cyboss in Singapore last year? Well you remember when we talked about it last year there was a huge amount of hype and there was all kinds of discussion about blockchain taking out 95% of back office costs and so on. I think over the past 12 months it's been a little bit more of a sober review looking at where there are real benefits and perhaps not putting the solution ahead of an analysis of the problems but looking at it from a business perspective and then saying is there a solution that we can actually use blockchain for or use the technology and the approach for. That's a fairly significant move forward and I think it's, it's on a more balanced basis now than it perhaps was a year ago. So what's the potential applications of blockchain for market infrastructures? Well, I think the, the most obvious ones are some of the basic processes that we do around settlement and safekeeping. We use it, or we're looking at using it um, in the settlement area. We're looking at, we have a prototype on the corporate action space. And I think one of the areas that looks very interesting is to put it in place of a cash market central counterparty, or CCP so that you have a series of bilateral contracts happening with a netting engine behind it rather than having a CCP with a huge concentration of risk attached to it. Whether that pans out, we'll have to see. And technology is only part of the innovation story. What are you hearing about business innovation? I think it's an important point and again it comes back to some of the development of the process since last year. The hype was all about IT last year I think there's been much more work now being done around a recognition that innovation has to happen on the business model side. And if you work through and look at what clients are looking for and build your models to, to look after the client interests, at that point you can then look at whether blockchain or indeed another, another technology is the right way to go. The blockchain is, you know, a few years ago we just called them databases. It's, it's a new way of processing it, but it's still a technology that, that needs to be harnessed to provide real value to a client. And I think that's an important point that many, many firms are now looking at, looking into their business areas and saying, okay, how do we do this best? Thomas, thank you very much. Pleasure, thank you. And thank you for watching.